Look at that little baby. She's shaking to death. Oh, darn it. The kids are all coming for dinner tonight and I don't know what I'm gonna cook. Our friend Kim came by, so she brought their presents before she flies home. So lots of stuff happening and I'm just trying to just put these guys to work because they're standing around the kitchen doing nothing, so. Okay, so it's it's the third day of calendars. What did you do? Yeah, but I couldn't tell what I was. We are home from church early today, and uh, it's because Sarah got a phone call during church. Good thing it didn't happen while you were up there bearing the testimony, huh? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Um, that we have groceries. We have groceries on our porch that could go bad. All right, well, we've got everything we need except for eggnog. We have lots of eggnog in the fridge. Lots of eggnog in the fridge. I was gonna get some more eggnog, but then I'm like, we have lots. Okay, well, I'll get the corn. So yesterday we hung out with the kids and then we were at Brant and Amara's house until um, late and then we got home last night and I was like, oh darn it, the kids are all coming for dinner tonight and I don't know what I'm going to cook. I don't have anything, I haven't prepared and so I figured out what I was going to cook and then I needed some things from the store so I'm just like, well, I will just, we don't like to go to the store on Sunday and just have it delivered. <laughs> so I was able to get the things we need for dinner tonight and we were able to, I didn't need like a ton, ton of things, but I also didn't want to just like do two. So I added a few more things for this week, but I am grateful for grocery delivery so that I can have the things that I need when I need them, when I don't have time to do them the day before. We have a very dear friend that we heard passed away last night. Johnny and I have actually been talking about it for a couple of weeks that we need to go to Utah County and see her because I felt like she was gonna pass away soon. Well, she's been in, in and out of the hospital for quite a while. About eight years ago, her husband passed away the day after Christmas. He had dementia and he and Branson were really, really good friends. Well, all three of them were very good friends and. And I just kept telling Johnny, I'm like, I think she's going to pull an Allen and pass away after Christmas. But instead, she decided to go home and be with him for Christmas. But every year since he's passed away, so before, when they got married every year, he would give her a nativity set. And then once he passed away, and she told us that, Johnny and I have been giving her a nativity set every year since then. And so we went, or I went to the store well, Johnny and I decided what one we wanted to get, and then I went to the store and got it on Friday and wasn't able to give it to her, obviously. But um, I found this one, and when I saw it, I told Johnny, I'm like, we have to get this one because, I, mean, I don't know the same for him, but it reminded me of Star Street in Bethlehem when we went and... It totally does, huh? Yeah. <laughs> When we went to Bethlehem and walked down Star Street, I saw when I saw this, I'm like, we have to have that one at Star Street with the nativity. I love it. Mm -hmm. So today was fast Sunday in our church, and so that means we don't eat for two meals, and we use the money, what we would have paid for those meals, to give to fast offerings, and that money goes to people in need in our ward. And and our kids are Savannah, Lizzie, as bear their testimony every Sunday that we're home for Fast Sunday. I think even when we're not at home, they do. Yeah, so even when we're not, every Fast Sunday they have the opportunity that they're in church, they bear their testimony. And today I just kept feeling like, I need to bear my testimony, I need to bear my testimony. And then I'm like, no, I don't really need to. I've said my thoughts in my heart. And then um, I kept going back and forth. And then Johnny stood up and bore his testimony. And he said a lot of similar things that I was actually thinking. And so I'm like, yes, I need to go bear my testimony. but. One thing that I was thinking about today 
and I'm sorry, this is a lot of talking. <laughs> well, one thing I was thinking about today is how wonderful the Christmas season is because it's because we as a whole people share about Christ so much. And, and even if we don't like go to church all the time or, or think about Christ all the time in Christmas time, we think about Christ, we share about Christ. And I just love that. Oh, look at that little baby. She's shaking to death. Lizzie, this is Nugget. <laughs> this is Nugget. It's your new aunt. <laughs> oh, look at her little tail. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> oh, so my goodness. Aw, she's so cute. <laughs> There's Dad's new sister. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mimki? Mim, look at the baby. Oh, oh she's like, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, you love the baby. Oh, yeah. She likes dogs. Aww. She doesn't like other cats. She likes yeah. dogs. <laughs> the puppy's like, oh. That cat's bigger than I am. Yeah, that's a scary cat. Oh, look how scary oh, that is. Look how scary that is. She's cat. nice. See? She's so sweet. She's like She's running. running. <laughs> okay, here's this. That's from Mexico. Mexico. Ensenada. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, look at this. But you don't have one of those ones. Oh no, it's a candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> like, awesome. Seriously? Ooh, I love that. It's not coming out of the box. <laughs> Johnny's like, I bet she doesn't have one of those. I don't. I've never that seen so one. Cool. I know, right? That's so cool, thank you. Our friend Kim came by. She wasn't able to make it to Savannah and Lizzie's birthday party. She was sick and so she brought their presents before she flies home to England. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> so we're glad we get to see her for a minute before she heads back home for the holidays. Kim loves that when people have things that they love and yeah. she finds all the cutest little things that go along with the things that they love. I try. <laughs> I love giving. It's my way of showing my love. So. <laughs> oh, they're mine. Oh, jacket. How cute. Little yeah. Harry Potter makeup brushes. Yeah, makeup brushes. Mm -hmm. so cool. All right, boys, have fun. Your last performance, or your last practice, I mean, before the performance. Yeah. Bye, I love Bye, you. Bye, I love you. I have been slating over this. See this? I've got this going. This uh, sauce for tonight's dinner. Um, I've used a little bit of olive oil in this in this water right here to make sure that. The, Noodles that I'm cooking are not sticking, so it's working really good. Sarah has got off of her bum for a minute, and she's helping me a little bit over here where I've been making um, cookies. Uh, batter for, sorry, not this time, this cookies is next, but I'm making uh, dough for rolls for tonight. And um, Savannah said that she would help me with this part. Uh, which is just making stuff. Making solid, so remember. lots of stuff happening, and I'm just trying to just put these guys to work because they're just standing around the kitchen doing nothing. So that's what's happening. <laughs> but it does not work. Actually, really, Sarah's been the one making all the stuff. <laughs> but you would believe it, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you believe it if I said I was doing it all? Probably not, actually. Daddy, too. I'm excited for dinner tonight. Sarah is making baked chicken Alfredo. I'm so stoked for it because she's making the Alfredo sauce from scratch. And she's just, I mean, she's just an amazing cook as it is. So, yep, I won't be taking credit for any of that. She's the one. When it comes to good food around here, she's the one. I'm the barbecue guy. When it comes to barbecuing, I'll do that. But uh, when it comes to this stuff in here, she is, as you've seen a million times, so good. Noni making rolls. Sunset. The sunset is so amazing tonight. I have to go out on the deck for it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Oh, incredible. Wow. 
Wow. Pretty dang amazing. Beautiful up there. And I also haven't been up here with the lights on since we repainted everything. It looks pretty good. Turned out awesome. So we repainted all of this ceiling as well as the walls, all of these pillars and everything. And it looks pretty good up here. They got that, that brown railing that's brand new. Just brand new painted. All of it just looks beautiful. Turned out awesome. Well, it is almost time to eat. The stuff is smelling amazing. And if you remember earlier, we were talking about how today is Fast Sunday. So Sarah and I haven't eaten <coughs> since last night. So the food smells even more amazing because we're starving or hungry. Um, anyway, here we go. Dinner time. Okay, so we just figured something out. What's up? We came home at like eight. So eggnog. So eggnog is 170 calories per half cup. Oh no! So how much is in this jug? Is in that one jug, it's 2,700 calories. And how often? How many? How many times have you drank that whole thing in one day? I don't think I've drank a full thing in one day, but since what? Beginning of November, I've gone through probably six of them. <laughs> so awesome. That is a lot of calories. Well, I so. hope everyone likes slightly warm brown. Yes! <laughs> oh, Sarah. Oh, yeah, Sarah, these are going to be perfect, actually. Oh, boy, look at that. Sarah, it's happening. It's happening. You're sitting at a table without a tablecloth on it. Look at that. How nice is that? All right, look at that. We're gonna zone it, zoom in on Mars. Okay, Sarah, the story. Okay, at church today, Savannah said, because we had black or green velvet, I had a skirt. Savannah and Lizzie had dresses, the boys have green velvet pants, and Savannah said, Mom, you need to get Dad a green velvet tie. And she said, and then Ty walks in, hooks full of green velvet. <laughs> Ty, how would you look if you walked in with full green velvet? Would it look just like, would it just look, say, show us again, Sarah. Why does it have to be like it has a big furry coat on? Oh. And at first I'm like, that would be funny, and then I like it clicked. No, she lost it. She lost it. Crying. And they couldn't, she couldn't tell me because she was crying, laughing, and then everybody else is laughing. But everybody's probably looking at us like, what are these people laughing about? Because they just talked about some lady who <laughs> had a funeral. <laughs> no, I am starting to yeah. Okay. We had such a great time with all of our kids here. Um, Neymar is so fun. And Mara is feeling so much better, which is so great. I just hope she doesn't overdo it because I know personally from surgery, you start feeling really good and you're like, oh, I'm fine. I can do all the things. And then you crash. At least we're here to help if that does happen and she needs our help. And it's also so fun to cook on Sunday because things like there's time, time to cook, time to make rolls and cookies and meals and everything. So thank you guys for being part of our family and for loving and supporting us. And we want you to know that we love you and want you to always remember that you, you are, are worth it. it. Bye, Bye guys. guys.